If you go down to the woods today, you're sure to get a surprise. This is one of my regular walks that I do most days with my dog, yet there's something out to get me. And my dog. You'll find ticks in anywhere where you'll get deer, sheep and other livestock. They like to crawl to the top of plants, like bracken or grass, and then wait for a warm-blooded animal to pass. And yeah, you'll do quite nicely. The main thing we need to be concerned about is Lyme's disease. It has flu-like symptoms, hot, achy limbs. You might also get the classic red bullseye rash. Then not everybody who has Lyme disease gets this. And if not dealt with promptly by your doctor, it can lead to very serious complications. The best thing is to find the tick quickly and remove it with the right tools. That reduces the chance of getting an infection from the tick. First of all, we've got the tick twisters. We've given away 200 of these to local businesses to help promote our first aid courses. They're probably the most effective general tick remover you can get. This is the one I normally carry with me inside my wallet. It's great for removing really small ticks and the larger ones. However, it can be quite difficult to get into hard to reach places. We've got the Life Systems tweezers. Note the very fine ends which are great for removing extremely small ticks. However, like all tweezers, you need to be careful that you don't crush the tick so it disgorges its contents into the wound, possibly increasing the rate of infection. So we've got a tick. It's trying to find somewhere to hide. First of all, we're using the tick twisters, but this tick is young and hasn't fed yet so it's slightly too narrow for the twisters to work effectively. So next we're using the tick card. Again, because the tick is unfed, even the small part of the tick card isn't effective. Here we're using the Life Systems tick tweezers. We're getting right to the very base, and yes, the tick is out. Note the curved, narrow hooks that make it so effective. Generally, I find the tick twisters to be the most effective. However, with a young, unfed tick, we certainly found the life system tweezers to be right for this particular job, but we were careful to get those hooks right down by the mouth of the tick so we didn't make it vomit into the wound.